Hello, my name is Bennett Goldberg. I'm the director of the Sorrell Center for Advancing Learning and Teaching and the professor of physics and astronomy here at Northwestern. I'm gonna just take a few minutes of your time and show you how to use the Zoom environment here and your cell phone to set up a Zoom environment with a document camera. So the first step to do this is turn on your cell phone and go in your cell phone to your Zoom application. Start your Zoom application. Join a meeting. Uh, you have the meeting ID of um, on the top bar of your of your thing, um, but whatever meeting you might be in, I am joining with my phone this Zoom meeting. And so now you see two things. You see me, the host, as well as the other person involved in this Zoom meeting. Um, and I can switch it from speaker view to gallery view, which is my phone. And so my phone is looking now at me, is looking at my computer and the environment around me from my phone to this Zoom environment. The next thing to do is be sure on your phone to hit cancel about audio and then go back to your phone and turn off the share video. And then from your environment here, you can then choose to, um, you can choose to hide non-video participants and we are back into our um, Zoom environment view. The next thing you need to do is to take your, your Zoom on your phone, which is connected to the Zoom session, and then you need to make it a camera. So to do that, choose your phone again and choose share content. And you'll see a screen that comes up like this. So you can share your photos, your box, your Dropbox. But what you want to share that is very much at the top there, your screen. If you share your screen, you get a broadcast request. And so now we're broadcasting our phone to Zoom, which is connected again to this session. So when I click Start Broadcast, in this Zoom session, you will see my phone screen being shared. To allow this, you have to have a certain setting in your Zoom session, which is to allow other participants to share their screen. So now if I go back to my phone setting, I choose my home button, I scroll until I come to my camera setting, I choose my camera setting, and now I am looking at my computer, which is of course being then shared with the screen of my phone, which is now part of the Zoom session. I'm gonna scroll to my right here, and you will see I have a bunch of books, and on top of the books, I have a um, diving board made out of cardboard. This is a United States Postal Service box that I cut up and folded three times to create a rigid enough structure. On top of that structure, I drilled a little bit of a hole, and then I took butcher's um, twine, um, put it back and forth against itself, and made some ridges. There's two ways that you can now do um, document sharing with your phone. I can just lean it over the edge of this structure and then in portrait mode um, be available to do writing on a piece of paper like this. I find it better, however, if I rotate my phone into landscape mode. Now you can see it's a much larger portion of the screen that I'm sharing. And then I go back and put it back into my holder here. And so now you have a much larger section of the screen with which you're sharing. It's approximately 12 inches between my diving board and this screen. And I can now sit here and I can write along notes to my students. I can then take a photo of it and share it with them. So I can click my photo button. There's my photo. I can then share that with the Zoom environment through a box or a Google folder or something like that. When I'm done sharing, I take, can take my phone, pick it back up, um, 
go back into my Zoom environment, stop screen broadcasting, go back into the open Zoom, and then simply choose to simply choose to um, leave the current session from my phone. So now there are no other participants in this session. Again, it's just me, Bennett Goldberg. Glad to help you today and hope your online teaching goes great.